Welcome to another episode of Bucket List Coach Web Show Live. We are in Seal Beach, California today, and I'll introduce you to my guest in just one minute. This is Cindy, your host over at Bucket List Coach Web Show Live. And first off, I'd like to thank Christy with Hair by Christy Newport for the new do. Just go to Hair by Christy Newport on Instagram. So make sure that you follow me on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram and on YouTube, if you share this very broadcast, there's a very special gift in it for you. So a little bit about the show. It's all about bucket listing, travel, local events, and aviation. So I am a travel agent, and I'm also a travel podcaster, and I'm bucket listing the world. And my clients and my friends are coming on and telling me what they're doing for their bucket lists. And a big plug to National Day Calendar. They'll be on the show tomorrow, a very special episode at one o'clock, we are celebrating National Social Media Day. But today is National Camera Day. Make sure that you go to National Day Calendar. And we actually have an app as well. So today I have my friend EJ, Wild Hi. Native Seal Beach. How are you? That's right. I'm so good. Thank you for having me. How are you? I'm doing great. And actually, on behalf of the Huntington Seal Beach Surf Rider, thank you so much for donating to our golf tournament that just took place a couple days ago. We're very grateful for that. It was Absolutely. an amazing event. And uh, so let's kind of go into you a little bit. Tell my audience who EJ is and uh, how did you get started with your company? All right. Um, well, to keep it, you know, in a nutshell, so uh, you mentioned Seal Beach. That's where we are right now. So I am a Seal Beach local, born and raised, grew up right here. Um, I was always kind of an artsy kid, and it took me a really long time to figure out, you know, where I wanted to go in life. And so I decided to get a job at Enterprise Rent-A-Car, which was wow. after I had gotten an art degree. So two kind Can of- Can you hold on things. just one second? Yeah. Is there any way that you could adjust? I'm I'm getting a little bit of static on your. Are you through your phone or your computer right now? I am through my. I'm through my phone right now. Let me quickly put in. That might be better. Okay. I like it. Oh, is that better? Oh, that's better. So let me do a quick announcement. So if you are okay. here on Facebook watching and you like to comment, make sure you go to StreamYard.com slash Facebook. That way we could recognize who it is. Otherwise, when you comment, it's just going to say Facebook user. So continue uh, on. Okay. So I was just saying how I grew up here in Seal Beach and um, kind of an artsy kid, got an art degree, but then I ended up going to work at Enterprise Rent-A-Car and I found myself really growing with the company and having a really lucrative career. Um, but then COVID happened. So I ended up getting laid off just like tons and tons of other people out there. And just like a lot of other people too, I took that opportunity to really think about my life and think about what I wanted to do with the next chapter. And going back to a corporate environment just was not what was calling me. It was for sure not what I wanted to do. And so, uh, I had moved to Seattle with my company and that's where I was moving when, or at living when I got laid off. So I came back here to Seal Beach at the very beginning of COVID in April of 2020. And I very quickly was like, you know what? I want to open a shop. I want to be back on Main Street, which is actually where I had my first job at an ice cream shop when I was 16 or 15. Oh, wow. um, yeah. <laughs> and I, I live right here in town. So I was like, I want to walk to work. I want to just have my mornings where I do stuff and then I want to go and have my shop. And um, so that's what I ended up doing. But then obviously I thought, well, what am I going to sell? What will my shop be? And something I had never seen here in Seal is rental equipment. So beach rentals like boogie boards, umbrellas and chairs or e-bikes, anything like that. We didn't have it, at least not when I was growing up. And um, maybe because I have an enterprise rent a car background, I thought I could bring rentals to Steel Beach. Um, so that's what I did. I opened up a beach shop where I have, 
I coined the beach kit. Um, so that's what's showing on the screen now. And it's um, a beach kit is a couple chairs, two chairs, an umbrella, a small table and a sand free beach mat and a boogie board. And it's all packed into a wagon. So you can easily just wheel it from my shop down to the beach, set up camp for the day, like I like to say, and bring it back when you're done. You know, you don't have to store it all year, pack it all up, clean it, buy it, you know. So um, it it's going great and it has expanded. So once I got my the handle on the rental system and set the foundation to have a rental business, I decided to buy some e-bikes and rent out e-bikes. So it has really turned into more of an activity center. And um, what I think is just so cool is for families that are coming here to vacation, there are multiple, there's just multiple things to do. You know, one day you might have a full on beach day where you get a beach kit, maybe a couple extra things like a skim board, surfboard. I have beach games, spike ball, cornhole, um, you know, really make a beach day. And then the next day, maybe you'd like to go explore Sunset or Huntington or even Long Beach. And so that's where you can grab an e-bike and really just explore what we have to offer beyond the beach. So let's talk about uh, some of the rentals. <laughs> yeah. how, how does the rentals work? The rentals. So uh, most of it is on a per day basis. Mm -hmm. um, ideally, one would make a reservation online. Um, that is just to expedite the process when you're here in the shop and also to make sure I have something for you because getting busy. Um, yeah. Anyway, so you would find my website, wildnativesealbeach.com, you know, find what you would like to do for the day and then book it. Um, simplest form. I do take a deposit, you know, like, you know, you would expect. So a security deposit, which is an authorization on a credit card. And most of my rates are daily rates. I don't want to rush anybody. I don't want anybody to spend 10 minutes walking to the beach, figuring out where they're going to set up and then having to hurry up and enjoy it and then walk back. So everything is on a, on a per day basis for, you know, the most leisure. Um, and then you just return it to me at the end of the day, I hose everything down, put everything away. I release your deposit and then we just settle your charges. And it's really quite simple. Um, the bikes are the only thing that are kind of broken up because, um, it's not likely you're going to be out for a full day on the bike. You can, of course, but a lot of people take it for just two hours or just four hours. So I have different rates for that. And again, a deposit. <laughs> people always ask that. Well, I'd like to introduce you to my friend, Mary Oler. Um, she actually was on my show a couple of weeks ago. We were celebrating National Wine Day and uh, she's from oh. the Midwest. So I'm trying to get her to come out here in the fall. So I, I think you would be a really good bucket list for her, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so I get a lot of people out. Let's talk about a little pay it forward for locals down there. So let's uh, start with Waltz Wharf. Oh my gosh. Waltz Wharf, if you Google Seal Beach and you, you know, ask for a list of things to do in Seal Beach, Waltz Wharf is on that list. Hands down, um, best seafood in town. It's been around for ages. I don't even know how long I want to say like 40 years, but don't quote me on that. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, in fact, when they closed during COVID, they put a note on the door that said that they weren't going to come back. And oh, that, that was so devastating. That, oh I was going to say that devastated me, that devastated the locals. I, like, I just was like, oh, I didn't get to have my last meal. I didn't know. And um, so, so it's with that sentiment that when they reopened, I mean, everybody was so happy and they have... Um, staples, you know, some of their old favorites and also some new stuff on the menu, but it's an oak grill. In fact, people come into my shop. It's just two doors down from me and people come in here all the time and they say, are you burning incense? <laughs> and, I, and it's the oak <laughs> grill that is burning from Walt's Wharf. It just wafts in. Wow. And it, it smells so good. Yeah. Yes. And people are like, oh, how do you, how do you work next to this all day? Aren't you so hungry? <laughs> I'm like, yes. <laughs> no, I get used to it. I swear. But anyway, so Walt's Wharf, um, yeah, like I said, it's, it's on the list of things to do in Seal Beach. So let me go through my list from, yeah, yeah. from the raffle. So not all of these are right in the area, but they're one of my favorites for raffles. Yeah, let's um, it. Trader Joe's. What do you got to say about Trader Joe's? Oh my gosh. Trader Joe's. Well, TJ's. Yeah, that's the best. Um, you know, people, people love Trader Joe's. It's, it's a convenient store because it's not so massive. And what I really like from there is their frozen stuff. 
I like to fill my freezer with frozen stuff from Trader Joe's as opposed to some of the other places. Uh, I, I don't know. I just feel better about it. I just feel like it's a little bit healthier, better choices. And they have the cutest little signs, you know, the oh prices. Oh, my God. I yeah. love it. <laughs> yeah, they actually did a, a, a beach bag um, theme. It was so amazing. Okay, so the next one is Taco Surf right there in Main Street. Oh, Taco Surf. Okay. When I was growing up, my um, dad, when I was 16, I should say, my dad said, starting right now, every Tuesday night, we're going to go out to dinner. So I, so for 11 years until I was 28, 12 years, uh, we went out to dinner every Tuesday night. And we went to Taco Surf hundreds and hundreds of times. Like they know us. I still... There are some employees that have been working there since I was 16 and they are running the wow. show. They are amazing. The food there is so consistent. My favorite salsa hands down, not too spicy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, they, they, their poor, poor, poor taco surf and sunset has had such trouble with, um, you know, fires and car accidents and things mm -hmm. happening like around it that have affected it. Um, so I can't wait. I, I thought that they might be closed again, like, like, well, it's forever, but I, I think I heard that they're reopening. So, um, they cannot leave sunset and, or seal beach best. Yeah. So the next one is El Ranchito and by far the best chicken soup on the planet oh. and the chicken tacos. What do you got to say about El Ranchito? Okay. Well, they're next door to me on the other side. So I'm between Waltz and El Ranchito and, Okay, let's just say margaritas. <laughs> That's the, the exactly. main differentiator. Taco Surf doesn't have a liquor license down here. So, um, but El Ranchito, they not only is their food amazing, they, the owners, the people, the family, the Avilas yes. that, that own it are just so amazing and so sweet. Um, Elise is the one that owns the one next door to me. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, she keeps that thing running so well. It's consistent. Her people are good. So all of that aside, their food, the chingalingas is what I get. Like I could probably once a week I go, it's a, um, if you don't know, it's like a pastry. It's kind of like a flauta, but it's pastry instead of a flour tortilla with chicken oh, wow. and all fried. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, you okay, better use that electric <laughs> bike for probably 10 miles to, to work that off, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, the next well. one, um, the Bistro, Bistro St. Germain. Oh, oh my gosh. You know, <laughs> I haven't been there too, too much. I went, Nick and I went, um, my guy, and sat, they have like a big family style, not that you're sharing, but like big, big, big bench. And so I remember we went there not too long ago, sat there, had a glass of wine, and I can't remember what we ate, but really awesome, cute little environment. And um, now I'm going to write that down. So I go more and go again. Well, awesome. So uh, these uh, these are um, a dual company. So it's the California Cottage and also the Shell oh, Shop. Yep. I already knew it. Once you said the Cottage, the Shell Shop. You know, I didn't know originally that they were the same company. The Shell Shop, I'm surprised if it's not on the things to do in Seal Beach, just like Walt. Um, that place talk about entertaining and people know people come to seal beach specifically to go to the shell shop. So basically picture this, mm -hmm. this decent sized store, just chock full of seashells and sea, sea related souvenirs and tchotchkes and home decor and wow. little jewelries. And Oh my gosh, just anything sea related. And they're actually a, um, a distributor as well. So they have a warehouse in Huntington so they distribute all that stuff oh, really? to okay. other yeah. souvenir shops. Yeah, I found that out after I opened up my business here and they came in to chat with me about it and stuff. But I, I used to make um, a lot of jewelry and I would buy um, my shells to make these earrings back in the day from there. I've been going there since I was a kid too. Well, and I should have wore it today, but I actually have a surfboard and a mermaid from that shop. Down yes, there. that sounds yeah. about right. Okay, I say the best pizza on Main Street is the Abbey, and they actually have a locale plate. Have you tried those? No, I didn't know. I I do absolutely love their pizza. They're like wood-fired pizza, too. That was one of our places to go for dinner with Dad. Um, 
most recently I've been obsessed with their fried chicken sandwich though. Oh really? So, wow. Yeah. Okay. I, that's like my thing. If anywhere I go, I always am trying the fried chicken sandwich. I have this like weird thing where I get on, I get on like kicks and I just do that for a long time. So right now I'm really enjoying that. And, and another thing to bring up COVID once again, that I've really enjoyed is all of the parklets, meaning the outdoor seating. So sometimes oh, yeah. on a slow day, well, in the summer here right now, it's not too slow, but in the spring on kind of a slow day, but it's warm out. Sometimes I'll put a note on my door, like back in 30 and I'll walk down to the Abbey and I'll get a sandwich and I'll sit on their patio, their new outdoor patio, have a beer <laughs> and, um, you know, just relax and just, just, you know, be in the moment and enjoy like, oh my gosh, I'm right here in Seal Beach. This is so amazing. And then enjoy and then go back to work. So that's one of my favorites to do that. Yeah, I have quite a list here to that. So I got maybe about oh, yeah. five or eight more. Um, okay. O'Malley's on Main. Oh, I mean, Party City. I've been going in there forever too. But yeah, live music these days. That's been fun. Oh, really? How mm -hmm. about Temecula Oil Company? <laughs> That's my mom's favorite. Temecula Oil Company. They're amazing. I love all these small businesses. I love this list that you have because it's really like, you know, making me kind of reminisce about all of these places. But to make you an oil company, fantastic place for gifts. I remember one Christmas, I got all my three brothers, I got them all different spice rubs for oh, different really? like, barbecue wow. meats and stuff. So it's more than just olive oil, it's like really, really nice quality gifts, unique and things that people can use, which is really great. <laughs> Consumable. How about beach fitness? <laughs> beach fitness? Y'all, they're out there. I see them out there. I, I know I've never, I've never taken a class. Oh, do they have there. classes on the beach? Um, I don't know if they do or not, but they have classes like, um, they're just catty corner. I can see them from here actually. Uh, and so I could just see them out there working out, especially during COVID when they were ever doing everything outside, it was busy. People like it. Uh, Village Jewelers, I just want to do a big plug. I can't remember the name of the owner, but he actually donated a $25 jewelry clean. Um, have you been in there before? Yes, Village he Jewelers? made a ring for me. Yes, oh, he's a no couple way. doors down. Yeah, I had yeah. this um, diamond pendant that I was no longer interested in wearing, and it had about a dozen like little diamonds in it. So I took it over there, and I was like, hey, can you turn this into a ring for me? And he did, and it's awesome. Yeah, really good work. And the uh, next one is one of my favorites, uh, my surf instructor, McKinnon Surf and Sup Lessons. He does uh, oh. classes there in Seal Beach, and yep. he also does classes in Huntington. So if you don't have his information, any flyers or anything like that, I could get that to you. And yeah. so next on the show, I'm actually going to do a really quick TikTok video. So it's going to be about a minute video. That way I could repurpose today's show. So are you ready? Okay, sure. Okay, let me pull this up. Okay, and here we go. Well, hello, hello. This is Cindy, your host at Bucket List Coach Web Show Live. EJ in the house, wild native Seal Beach. Take it away, girl. Why do we need to connect with you this summer? Hey, what's up, everybody? You must come to Seal Beach this summer. Come see my shop so I can enhance your beach day. That is my job. If you forgot something, you can pick it up here. You need sunscreen, board shorts. Your daughter forgot her swimsuit. I got you. And if you need something to do, you can rent an e-bike or rent a beach kit. I got you covered. So do a big shout out to your website and all your socials. Oh, yes. Okay. So, yes, you can find me at my website is wildnativesealbeach.com. And my Instagram is the same at wildnativesealbeach.com. You can make reservations online or DM me with questions. All my contact information is in both those places. So you know that this Saturday is the Huntington Beach annual bike ride. I believe last year there was like four or 5,000 bicyclists. So are you, are you going to come out this year? You know, I, uh, I, since I'm an owner, uh, owner operator, I am sort of tied to my shop for now, especially on the busiest days. Um, so I think I'm going to have to miss it this year, but I am, I have big plans to grow the business and hire some people so I can get out of here, uh, really soon. So I got to plan that for next year. 
As always on the show, I talk about the value of pay it forward. As small business owners, it's so super important to pay it forward. And so I want to ask you today, what are you going to do this holiday weekend to pay it forward to a complete stranger? Ooh, um, you know, I I don't know. Those are, you know, typically spur of the moment type things that I like to do. Um, mm -hmm. But some examples of past ones, you know, I, I I had a kid in here with a soggy $20 bill, not really able to buy much, but I sent him out with four shorts and a towel because nice. I knew that was really going to make his day. And it sure did. And I even let him keep his 20. And, you know, maybe I'll find somebody else that I can hook up like that this week. I'll make I'll make a point to do that. Let's see, what am I going to do? Well, I do it every single day. I call five business owners, at least five. Today, I actually called 15 and to express gratitude. And hi, this is Cindy. Just wanted to see how you're doing. I want to let you know I'm grateful. Not like, hey, when you're ready to book your next trip or hey, when would you like to use my marketing services? No, it's all about, hi, this is Cindy. I just want to let you know that I'm very grateful for you. Let's connect another time. But today, I just wanted to take the time to let you know that I'm very grateful because awesome. we are here today and we are gone tomorrow. Um, another thing I like to do, if I do see a homeless person, I'll buy them a sandwich cookie and a drink and uh, just, just make a difference. Find ways to make people smile. I like, I have a greeting card and gifts business. So what I like to do is I'll show up at a random business and drop off. Like I, I make like homemade charcuterie boards with my custom security that has like the name of their, let's say insurance company or real estate company and just make a total difference. Although this is my travel show, I still live every single day in celebration. Ah, oh, hallelujah. <laughs> That's amazing. So one last tip for summer to stay safe. From me, mm -hmm. wear your sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we need to watch out for for the sunscreen? What do we need to watch out for? The oh. ingredients are key. We really need to read our labels. Yeah, that's really smart too. And I actually stopped carrying aerosol sunscreen because that's not the greatest for our environment either. And the other ones last 10 times longer, even though it takes twice as long to apply, it lasts 10 times longer, way better for your money and for the environment. Yeah. So sunscreen, the sun will get you. I see it every exactly. day. Well, I'm I'm a Mexican and Irish. So I, I actually, in like 20 minutes, I could get a nice tan. It doesn't take me much. Uh, and yeah, any last business it. that you want to plug before I put you in a green room? Well, I will say I'm running a 4th of July special just real quick. Oh, very good. Um, yeah. For my rentals. Um, so the deal is, since I know that the 4th of July is going to be a long day for a lot of people and the sun doesn't go down until late. Typically my rentals are due back by 6 PM. So the deal that I'm making is anybody that wants to rent any of my equipment, bikes or kits for the 4th of July, they can keep it for the full 24 hours. So pick it up in the morning on the 4th and then return it to me anytime the next day on Tuesday, all for the price of just, you know, the one day or the eight hours for the e-bikes. Yeah. So, so let's see, actually, if I could add that to the TikTok video and then, so I'm going to repurpose it on Facebook and TikTok and Instagram, and then I could send you the raw file and you could repurpose it on your actual page. Awesome. Okay. All right. Uh, one last shout out for your website and I'll put you in the green room. All right. That's www.wildnativesealbeach.com. There you go. Well, thank you so much, EJ. If you hang tight for just one minute um, after I close, I'd like to talk to you for a few minutes and uh, of course. we'll get going. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. All righty, make sure that you go to the link here on Facebook and on YouTube. Make the most of that dash. We have the day that we're born and the day that we pass away. What are you doing in between that time? And make sure that you go to hsbsurfrider.com, become a member, and attend a beach cleanup. This is Cindy over at Buckless Coach, Web So Live. Shaka, baby.